Hey guys, it's ASP and welcome back to a brand new video. Now, as I'm sure you are well aware, Android P, Android Pi, Android 9, whatever you want to call it, has finally dropped. It's been in beta for quite a long time, many people have been using it, but it's finally now available on the Google Pixel 2 and 2 XL, and of course, the Essential Phone which is an odd one. Not because the phone's not great, but the future of the company is definitely in turmoil. But anyway, enough of that. Android P, Android Pi, Android 9. In this video, I'm gonna be discussing everything you need to know about the new setup. The good, the bad, and the meh. Let's get straight to it. Right, so the first thing that's been changed in Android Pi is the number, it's gone from eight to nine. And the first thing is, of course, the settings tab has now changed. The icons are much more round. Blue and white and gray are the different colors. I'm not personally a massive fan of the way they look, but in terms of being able to differentiate between the different sections, I suppose it kind of works pretty well. Now, one thing I do actually quite like about the update is the fact that now when you press the volume button, this is a quite a big one for me, when you press the volume button, it now defaults to the media setting as opposed to like ring volume and stuff like that. And I personally think that's quite a good touch because countless times I've been sat there, thought my phone was on silent, and then some video has blazed through, waking the family up, public transport no one likes loud unexpected media so that is quite a good alteration i am a fan of that now my first meh of the video is the new screenshot so if you now press and hold the power button it then gives you an option on the screen to take a screenshot instead of having to press the power and the volume down and although that's probably slightly better the overall thing is is meh for me because other companies have implemented it better the three finger screenshot for example far easier so certainly still a two so certainly still a two so certainly still a two-step process that seems a bit unnecessary. So next up is gestures, and this is something that has been sort of a, a long time in coming really for Android users on stock Android to kind of compete with the iPhone. And of course, companies like OnePlus who have already introduced it and introduced it quite a long time ago, even on the OnePlus 5T, for example. So now, of course, we have the little white line in the middle, which you would press to go home. You can also go back like this. And if you want to go to your recent apps, you sort of swipe up from the middle at the bottom and then you can scroll through the different apps you've got open. And it's now horizontal as opposed to vertical. Again, similar to the iPhone 10. And this is another one I'm definitely mixed on. Yes, it is a decent upgrade. It is much better than what it was before. Do I feel it's been implemented as well as the iPhone 10? No. Do I feel it's been implemented as well as the OnePlus 6, where you swipe up and hold to go to your recent apps here, and then you swipe off. You can also go up from the left or right to go back, and up from the middle to go home. Very, very simple, and the great thing about it, you still get all the real estate, like again, you do get on the iPhone 10. That's kind of why gestures were invented. It just feels a bit of a halfway house and a work in progress still on the Pixel, when you've still got that little white line, etc. at the bottom. What I'm trying to say is, it, in my opinion, it looks far cleaner the way OnePlus and Apple have done it. Is it something they can tweak in the future with software updates, etc.? Yes, they possibly could. Whether they will do, I'm not so sure. Another new thing that's been introduced is something called adaptive battery. And this will limit CPU use to certain apps that you don't use as much. And while this sort of idea of battery optimization isn't really a new thing, I've always found these techniques a little bit uninspiring and haven't really felt a massive difference. I will wait and see until I've tried it, but I don't think I'm gonna be holding my breath for that. Next up, we have the digital well-being, which has been in beta for quite a while, but it will now be launched again on the Pixel Essential and whenever other manufacturers get the hands on Android Pi, they should be able to use it. It basically gives you a rundown of your day in digital form. So it'll tell you what apps you've been going on, how long you've been spent on a certain app. So if you've been on YouTube, for example, and you've been down one of those serious YouTube black holes, watching content like this, No? Just me? You can set time limits on those apps to tell you to get off, go and do something else, get outside. You've been on YouTube for 43 hours solid without sleep. But yeah, you can obviously digitally check your specific stats and tell your phone how long you wanna be on certain apps. Whether I would do that, probably not. I don't know many people that would because you can just come off it if you want. No, one, no one's forcing you to be on it. 
but again, it's another function. And the final feature, which I think is actually quite a good thing, and I think the more people use it, the more people will actually almost think, how did I live without it? And that is slices. Now, forgive them for the name. Na name aside, Android Pie, slices. It's quite a good idea because it basically allows you to preview certain information within an app without actually having to go into it. So you can actually type things into your search bar and it'll feed you little snippets back of information that again will be very quick and easy to grab without actually going into the app. All in all, my humble opinion is that there are a few good new features. There are a few questionable and meh features. And overall, I'm feeling like a lot of smartphones in 2018. The actual Android update is also a bit of an incremental one and possibly one of the most minimal Android updates we've seen in recent years. Here's where you guys come in. Let me know in the comment section below what you think. Do you like the new changes? Have you used it already? Do you have a Pixel or an Essential phone? Are you straight in there? Let me know in the comment section below. As always, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Like and share if you did enjoy this video and found it helpful. Subscribe and hit that notification bell if you're new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video on anything tech. Pretty much daily content here on this platform. I love you and leave you. I'll see you in the next one. Stay cool, peace out. Thank <laughs> you.